Hello everyone, I am Jadeep Singh Chahal. So, this is the uh, morning, day one and a half, day two of the first trip this summer and we really wanted to come out with uh, the Jimni. So, this is this beautiful Barot Valley which is uh, brown trout country as they all call it and uh, we are in a very very beautiful location. We are camping in the valley right next to the river and uh, it's an early morning we'll be leaving for fishing in another 15 20 minutes and i just wanted to do a quick uh, update on the jimny there's been a lot of questions coming in as to how the tires are performing and how the vehicle has been performing so we drove this close to 320 kilometers from amritsar yesterday and uh, a lot of uh, you know a lot of praise for the vehicle but we'll start with the negatives first there are a couple of issues that need to be addressed or i don't know if they can be addressed or what we can do about those uh firstly for for my height and the way i placed the seat the non height adjustable seat belt turned out to be fine but it is it has been annoying everyone else who's been driving it and also even in the passenger seat there there has been issues and secondly, uh, I don't know, for some reason, uh, earlier I thought it is like a malfunction in our vehicle only. The, the seat belts on the, pass uh, on the second row of seats or the rear seats, uh, even if nobody is sitting there, it always gives you a warning that the seat belts have to be on. Uh, I don't know why, but the only alternative we've found is we've plugged in the belts and... Uh, that that warning has now gone off apart from that i think no other issues yes one more update uh, as you all know we are running the 235 75 uh, goodyear wranglers so inside if you can if you can just bring the camera that little bit of plastic that little bit of plastic see it's all plastic it's all plastic in there that little bit of plastic in there is what interferes on full lock under compression and it rubs a little so we decided not to cut or chop it it is going to make its own space and it happens with a lot of vehicles i would i would always suggest i would i would rather go for these tires than 215 that that is my personal choice i'm not uh, saying that the 215 is not a good choice but i like to run slightly lower pressures and and enjoy the you know the 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 the, the thick sidewall damping effect so, I think this is the choice for us. Either this or it might go even bigger. If it is 215, it is going to be BFG, no other tyre. I, 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 I don't think it makes sense to, at least for me, to fit any other tyre. And for those who wanted to know if the tread pattern is aggressive, I can, I can quickly show that it is pretty deep. It's, it's, a, it's a very deep tread. I will I'll, we'll, we'll show you around the, the spare tyre as well. But it's a very, very deep tread. And aggressive enough and it's done phenomenal. There was close to a 100 kilometer stretch on the way which is under construction. And uh, we are pretty used to and all the other vehicles in the convoy, they had an uh, uh, upgraded suspension other than the Scorpio. So we'll come to the Scorpio later. But all other vehicles had an upgraded suspension. And this had, this had no issues keeping up with those. So when when it comes to keeping up with vehicles on an upgraded suspension the difference is that when you see a broken patch or a rough patch or uh, you know uh, something like a rumble strip or a stretch of potholes you don't go off the gas you just gun it and the entire suspension will do the work your tire your sidewalls will do the work and that's about it you will not feel even 10 percent of that in the vehicle so you don't have to break for potholes that was one very very important thing and very impressive suspension even the stock setup is very very impressive also this is the first trial run for the vehicle it is you know the 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 small size is it's so much fun driving as well and the amount of power is amazing we we did not check the exact mileage but it's it, it's given a crazy crazy mileage because everyone else had to get a uh, fuel top up and this is still going even in spite of the small 40 liter tank i i think it, it's got a 40 or a 45 liter tank in spite of that small fuel tank it, it's still going and going and this is an auto 
Alpha. This is the full options, the top model auto. So no other issues. Also two people and the, the way we travel is only two passengers per vehicle and rest is their luggage. So two people with their stuff, they fit very, very well in this vehicle. We had uh, the fridge was in the other vehicle. On the way back, we'll try fitting the fridge in this one and see if it, it, it can take the fridge as well. So after folding the seats, it'll take the big, we've got a huge uh, 65 liter double top fridge. So we'll be, we'll try fitting that as well. But coming here, it had supplies for two, food for three days, uh, a big tent. Everything was placed in the back and it ran very, very well. I was a little concerned that the stock springs might sag under that load. But uh, in, even with all the luggage in the back, it did very well. So today, I, I, we, if we drive it, I'll try to record it. But mostly we'll be in and around the camp. And uh, it's, it's my, uh, my friend who's bought it, he's really happy with it. And uh, he's got an LC100 2003 in his garage. He's got uh, a Fortuner as well in his garage. But currently, he's preferring driving this every single day. And uh, he's very, very happy with it. Very happy with it. And I, I think... Uh, Apart from the seat belt, I, I think they've there's been some. I, I think they forgot they had to do some engineering for the seat belts. Other than that, everything else, Maruti has really nailed it. And uh, looking forward to the other Jimneys coming in, and we can so that we can start working on the suspension and the tires and the other stuff that we've got lined up. Thank you so much.